Hello, and welcome to Lima Tutorials. We'll discuss the I.O. Motion feature on the Easy Steps application. You may be wondering why we use the I.O. Motions feature set on Easy Steps. Lima drives come with the ability to define the functions of the drive's I.O. pins to allow for certain functions to be controlled over I.O. If you would like expanded I.O. functionality, including the ability to trigger moves or command table lines, those functions are available within the I.O. motions portion of the Easy Steps application. In this example, they are connected to the X4 connector. We'll use the X4 pin 5 and X4 pin 6. In this tutorial, we will be using the C1250 drive. Note that you can also use the X4 pin 7 and X4 pin 8 bit. So, Let's say when X4 pin 5 goes true, we want to make a fast move out, say to 75 millimeters. And when X4 pin 6 goes true, we want to make a slow move back, let's say to 0 millimeters. Here is how we do it. We go to Easy Steps by going under Parameters, Easy Steps. I.O. motions, look at the pin we are connected to, in this case is X4 pin 5 config. We'll look at the rising edge function. In I.O. motions, there are a variety of motion commands available, as well as the ability to trigger command table commands. In this example, we will use a go to absolute position move. Double click on that. Now we'll have to set up the move. So we click to IO motion config. The parameters here apply to whichever function we've chosen for our IO motion. For this move, we're going to a position of 75 millimeters. For max speed, we'll make it two meters per second. For acceleration, we'll pick 50 meters per second squared. For deceleration, we'll pick 50 meters per second squared as well. The curve command ID and maximal current parameters have no effect on the selected go to absolute position move, and we can therefore leave them at zero. When X4 pin 5 goes true, now for the move back, X4 pin 6 goes true. Again, we go to Rising Edge, make this go to Absolute Position, then we go into the IO Motion config. This time, the position will be 0 millimeters because we're coming back. The max speed will be very slow, so we'll set it as 0 0.01 meters per second. We'll leave the 1 meter per second squared acceleration and deceleration. We're pretty much ready. We'll go to our control panel. Now, we'll confirm that we're switched on, homed, and operation enabled. Basically, we're ready to go. So now, we can watch our X4 pin 5 and X4 pin 6 under the I.O. panel. We will be leaving our left boxes checked to enable manual override of these bits, which allows you to test the functionality of those digital I.O. bits without actually wiring up an input and receiving a voltage on the input. So, when we have our X4 pin 5 bit go true, we'll go 75 millimeters outwards in a fast move. Let's make that go false, and we make our X4 pin 6 true, and we'll have a slow move back to zero. One more time.
Make sure that the inputs you are using aren't used for a different functionality in the normal I.O. settings by checking your I.O. definition. These parameters can be found by going to Motion Control, Software, Drive Configuration, I.O. Definitions. Make sure that the inputs that you're using are not used for a different functionality. Here we can see that we have set X4 pin 5 to no standard I.O. function. X4 pin 6 also set to no function. Some of the advantages of using easy steps I.O. over using normal I.O. functions include the ability to trigger command table or stored time curves on any digital input and the ability to perform positional moves with the different parameters. Using standard I.O. functions, you can only use X4 pin 6 as a trigger to trigger a time or encoder curve or a command table sequence beginning at a given command table entry ID. It will trigger the time curve or command table sequence each time. Using easy steps, you can set up one input to trigger a command table sequence, another to trigger a command table sequence with a different starting command table ID, and another to trigger a curve. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you.